this interrogation room looks exactly like the one we have in the United States. Please remove your shoes and put them in the bin. I honestly think that we were safer before 9-11 than we are now. We had a perfect opportunity after 9-11 when we created the Transportation Security Administration. Our big warning was not to establish another super agency like the PSA. Instead of this small unit, we created a Department of Homeland Security. They just gave it a lot more money, a lot more authority, and so on, new bottles. Not a damn thing has changed. Now, do we have to put you in handcuffs or will we have a problem? I helped create uh, TSA, and I've referred to it sometimes as either my bastard child or a monster that we've uh, created. Want to talk to EEA about it? What we've got now is nothing but security theater. Management did not want somebody who could stand their grounds and say no to compromise and security. They were more focused on, on things like dress code than they were on real strategic practices that would best protect the public. Many other weapons are there are so many air marshals that would say, hey, here are the, the problems. Here's why we don't have proper security on the airplane. There was a, a mad rush to the front of the airplane towards the cockpit. And that's when I closed my eyes and I just was praying. They then took the bag with the fully assembled bomb and went aboard the plane. When we did the testing, we were basically trying to get caught. They just got rid of the test. The performance actually has been going down, but those reports are classified. You wouldn't want to see them because they're quite frightening. Found a member of Al-Qaeda working on an airplane. Aviation has always been a prime target, and aviation is still vulnerable. There's no need to sugarcoat it. All of these bells and whistles that you see is only meant to make you feel safe. But they're not. Follow the rules. That's right. Protocol. Now you are from the band Runa? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Shannon Lambert Ryan? That's me. You're the uh, lead singer? Yes. Finan Debar? Yes. Pleasure to meet you. Yes. Cheryl Crashman? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Percussion? Yes. And you had one other person with you, Tomoko Demora. Yes. We had to deport her. Sorry. <laughs> Very talented. Can you tell me how you came in contact with her? Uh, she and I um, have become very good friends. Um, we worked in a world music band that's based out of Boston together for a number of years. And uh, we had a gig and we asked her to come along for the gig. And um, she said yes, fortunately. And kind of been with us off and on ever since. It's great. Good job. <laughs> Tell us about your musical influences. I understand that you that you make contemporary Celtic music, contemporary Irish music, and uh, like to know a little more about that and some of the influences that you have. Well, from Ireland, so it's kind of injected in <laughs> birth. <laughs> all the matter we have, but it's uh, no, it's great. We we, we 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 like to fuse all our different influences. I was like a rock guitar player when I was younger, and there's a lot of that in my style of guitar playing. Cheryl's percussion to the you know, background in classical percussion, Shannon's background in classical singing and jazz. So it, it all kind of comes together. And, um, but it, it, you know, it's nice to, to label it something that people can identify with using. A lot of the music we do is, is of Irish or Scottish background, so I mean, just the modern version of it. you got a great voice. you got some other languages, too. It's like Gaelic or something. Speaking four languages. What are your four languages? Uh, Gaelic, English, French, and German. Awesome. You must, have gone, you must have gone to France and Germany a lot. A lot, yeah. 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 Not anymore, though. Not anymore. You, know, you studied them in school. I mean, obviously, Irish is part of the whole culture and everything. Yeah. French and, and German, that's, those are second and third languages. Yeah, so it's, uh, well, it's nice to be able to you know, introduce 
interpret for the band when we go yeah. to yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does help. Yeah, 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 I, I can imagine. Yeah. 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 So cool. Shannon, what's your background? My background um, as a musician. Yeah, how did you get into this? Um, I started out uh, as a step dancer um, in Philadelphia at the Philadelphia Irish Center and um, had continued with that up until I guess I was about uh, 13 or 14 and then got very involved in um, theater and music at school and um, have continued that all through college and thought I was going to be an actor. Um, I started out being an actor professionally for several years and um, got into the band that I mentioned before up in Boston. And met these two wonderful people in, in 2006. <laughs> Did you ever um, consider being a zombie? That's one thing I haven't tried yet. Although I have, uh, I've been in a horror movie and I was a um, frozen dead body. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Yeah, you're a yeah, good spirit. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty good. <laughs> but now I met these two wonderful people in 2006 and um, I've been playing the musical for them ever since and married this one along the way. So oh, it's not too that's bad. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, see where these things yeah. so you're going to be recording a new album very soon, right? Can you tell us about it? We are. Um, starting in September. Um, it's the title track for the album is going to be called Stretched on Your Grave, which we thought might appeal <laughs> to you guys. That's quite there. appropriate. Yeah, it's very so appropriate. Can you send your when it's done? Maybe Please. We'll send Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we'd love yes. to hear it. Yeah. These zombies love this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> send it to my grave. I'll give you the <laughs> That's right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. But yeah, I should start mid September um, recording that. Um, so we should do a little discography. You have you have uh, an album already? Yes. yes. Yeah, an album called Jealousy that we recorded together. Wow. Shannon and Fanon recorded a CD in Ireland uh, before that. Uh, kind of the start of the band. Yeah, Jealousy is a phenomenal yeah. song. Yeah. Where was it recorded? Uh, we did it actually in Cheryl's uh, living room. Oh, Jealousy. Oh, yeah. 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 Castle Works. Castle Nolan. We call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. great. Yeah. How can people buy it? How can they find out about it? Go to the website, um, which is uh, runamusic.com, or U N A music. Runamusic.com, right there. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll buy it on iTunes. Or That's Great. awesome. Good stuff. And, and from here, uh, now, this is going to air beginning of September, the end of uh, August. Do you have any gigs coming up? Anything you want to promote? Obviously, buy the album, folks. Go to their website. Um, listen to the out. music. It's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're we're mostly concentrating on uh, we've a, a multi-camera DVD shoot that we're trying to edit and the new album, so that the fall is going to be just concentrating on that. We do have a local show to the Philadelphia area in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, uh, Saturday, October 9th. So at Steel City Coffee House. Oh, excellent. So Steel be, City, it's yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. 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 It'll be a lot of fun. Bagpipe player with us. So come on down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.